Well, this is Peter Glugowski and Chris Lim, and today we will talk about obelisks. An obelisk is a tall, narrow, four-sided, tapering monument which ends in a pyramid-like shape at the top. Obelisks were extremely, extremely important in ancient Egyptian society due to the fact that they were uh, related to the sun god. This obelisk was created for the great Ramses II in Egypt. It is the second largest obelisk in Egypt, followed by Hatshepsut. Here is another example of obelisks in ancient Egyptian culture with hieroglyphics including the king's name which is in a cartouche. This obelisk erected by Queen Hesusup, it is 97 feet tall and approximately 320 tons. This obelisk is in front of the Vatican and it was removed from ancient Egypt and placed in, placed in its present location by the ar Italian architect Domenico Fontana around 1543 to 1607. This obelisk is located in New York. It's called Cleopatra's Needle. Uh, this is the, one of the three obelisks known as Cleopatra's Needle. It was given to America in 1881 by the Egyptian government and presently stands in Central Park, New York, New York. This is the second of the Cleopatra's Needles. It was. It is currently in Paris, France. It was uh, built by Ramses II and is in Place de la Concorde in Paris. It weighs 227 tons made of red granite. This is the third Cleopatra's Needle, which is located in London. This is affected by weathering as time flows by. Uh, all the details as are diminished. This obelisk is in present day Constantinople. It was shipped by Theodo Emperor Theodosius in AD 390 to be part of his hippodrome in Constantinople. It is 60 feet tall. This example of an obelisk was uh, used to be in the ancient Aksumite kingdom of Ethiopia. It is 24 meters high and is known as the obelisk of Aksum. In 1937, it was looted and taken to Rome and stands in Italy today. In 2008, it was returned to their to the people. As you guys know well, this is located in Washington. Uh, Washington Memorial, uh, which was finished uh, December 6, 1884. This is the most prominent as well as one of the older attractions in Washington, D.C. This obelisk is in Gettysburg National Park. It was created to be a memorial of those who died during the fighting of the three-day battle and the civil and the American Civil War. It is a replica of a modern-day obelisk. Um, many cemeteries today use obelisks as tomb markers for those who have died. They are permanent memorials to the people and uh, as you can see they are still with us today. Uh, influenced by the ancient Egyptians. This next obelisk is in Oslo, Nor Norway. It was created in July 2008. It is in Vi Vigland Park as part of a sculpture garden studying the nude human figure. It was created by Gustav Vigland. This is a bicycle monument to encourage the green movement. Uh, it was created by Mark Grieve and Iana Spector. It is 65 feet tall, 10,000 10, pounds, and 340 bicycles, which is made and located in California. This obelisk is located in Guadalupe Park. It is the highest point in Texas. It is 8,750 feet tall, high. Um, 
On top of the mountain is a stainless steel obelisk at the summit, which was placed there by American Airlines to commemorate the Butterfield stage line near the visitor. This is the last piece of ours, but this is not an actual obelisk, but we, this is shows how obelisk used in architecture. The obelisk is on top Thank of you. a church, and you might be asking yourself why a pagan symbol like this will be would be on a Christian church. This was a production by Peter Gwagowski and Chris Lim. Thank you for watching.